bedwetters. And there was something else. Touring, gigging, practicing, rocking. Yeah, man, those were the days. Just get up. I wouldn't know where I was, who I was, what I was doing, but would just go on stage, immediately pass out, and then wake up the next day and do the exact same thing. <laughs> I saw them, I saw it happening, I had a chance to record them and then all of a sudden they just split up. I don't really know why. I guess some things just aren't meant to be. To be, to be, to be, to be. Adam, that was so good. Hey, thanks guys, my buddy. Yes. Dan, could you just get off your phone for a second? Just one second. Yeah, yeah. There's just one bit. I need you to play it faster. February 14th, you know, uh, this is a rehearsal that I'll always remember. Uh, this ridiculous confrontation. Bro, I can play that shit faster than you can. Faster than me? Yeah, easy. Alright, why don't you see if you can play it faster than me? Right, fine. Adam, watch. <laughs> Get out. Get out. You're clearly not right for this battle. Why don't you just, hey. just get out of here? And that was the day that Dan left, and from there, you know, I always felt that he was bearing down on me. Well, w when I heard that Dan left the band, I was, I was crushed. Just gotta look at it this way: like Jovis's egotism just got too much, too much for for any of us to handle, really. I remember one particular practice. Uh, I don't really want to talk about it, to be honest. The thing is, most, most rock stars, they get problems with, you know, women or with drink or, or whatever. And I've got, I've got all of those problems anyway. But Jonas's problem was with, like, with shredding. When you're dealing with a monster, you've just got to let it go. In the end, it's not worth it because He's gonna destroy you. And then after Dan left, the other band member just started dropping like flies. I mean, it was only a matter of time. I know, I know, I know, I know. He said you could play both. I can, I can, I can play both. How do you think we're going to get by without Dan if you don't even practice your I, parts? I, I want, I well, you just leave him alone, Jovis. The whole Jovis Benji situation, you know, Benji stood up to Jovis. No, Benji, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Yeah, do you hear him? It's okay. Oh, it's okay, is it? Yeah, it's fine. Alright, if that's okay, maybe this is okay. What are you doing? I'm done. Yeah, I knew I was going to be the next one to go because, uh, Frankly, you know, the weight being thrown around in that room was uh, was too much and someone was going to get hurt. Alright, go on then. Out you go. Adam, bed wet as March. Alright? One, two, one, two, three, four. Adam was just laughing it all up, laughing at his jokes, going, yeah, every idea he had. Adam could never see the problem, so uh, I left him to it. My friend Tiffany said, said that last time she heard the Bedwetters uh, were just uh, Jovis and Adam and they were doing like a little a duo thing, which I mean is better than nothing, but it's not the same! I think I can speak for us both when I say, you know, we've moved on. Um, Benji's down in Nashville. Uh, working on a little country album with, uh, with Vinnie Fix. Yeah, of course I miss the rock and roll lifestyle, but you know, you've got to, you've got to know where to draw the line. And that's, that's the thing. I mean, Adam, I don't know where he is. I worry about him, but that's what he wants. You know.